Whether you're yes or no to independence, uh, I think the vast majority of people accept that that is a decision that can only be taken by the people of Scotland. Um, and if there is a mandate for it, no prime minister should block it. OK, so if you lose in the Supreme Court, if they say you can't call a referendum without the UK government agreeing mm -hmm. to it, what happens then? I mean, would you consider having a, a referendum, sort of going it alone and having a, an advisory referendum or vote of some kind? I would have hoped before interviewing me this morning, you would have actually read what I said yesterday. No, I know, um, I know, but Court, I know you're talking uh, about in, using the determine. general election. No, I mean, you, but, you... but see, no, 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 no. Can you please listen to me? Because if you'd read what I said yesterday, you would know the answer to that question. What we are proposing is just actually as it was in 2014, a consultative advisory referendum. That's what referendums are in the UK. After a yes vote, and this was true in 2014 as well, the, the UK Parliament, the Scottish Parliament would have to pass legislation to give effect to that. So what we are seeking through the reference to the Supreme Court is to establish whether the Scottish Parliament can lawfully hold uh, even an advisory referendum. Yes. I am not going to move forward with a referendum that is unlawful. What I said yesterday also, if the Supreme Court, and I hope this doesn't happen, but if the Supreme Court judgment, and it wouldn't be the fault of the court, it would be a reflection of the, the legislation, says that there is no lawful route for the Scottish Parliament to do that, and if the UK government continues to block a referendum, then yes, the general election becomes, as far as I'm concerned, the de facto referendum, because people cannot be blocked from having their say on this key issue. OK, of course, so that's my, my, my question was very specific. Is, so you wouldn't... become independent when a majority vote for it. My question was very specific. So you wouldn't consider having uh, any other kind of separate vote. It would be about the general election. But we all know that general elections are very different from, from referenda, aren't they? Uh, people are voting on, on all kinds of issues. You might say that it would then be a, a, an issue, a, a vote on Scottish independence, but people are going to be voting on, on everything in complex ways, in different constituencies, maybe tactics. Well, it's not that simple. Well, let me unpack that question. Firstly, I just want to underline the first point here because it was very clear in what I said yesterday uh, that a referendum has to be lawful. That is why I have asked the Lord Advocate to refer this matter to the Supreme Court. There is no question of an unlawful referendum. I respect the rule of law um, and, as I say, as a matter of practical reality, an unlawful referendum would not deliver independence. It